Hey, when did you know your time in AEW was coming to an end? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, that pretty early on. Um, so I re-signed with AEW when I, when I left last year, I still have two years left on my contract. When I left, I made the oh. decision to leave. I still had two years left. I probably could have been there much longer. Um, I re-signed at the end of 2021 and hindsight being what it is, I probably shouldn't have, but again, AW, I was there since before day one. That's right. You know, yep. I was, I was there in the, the, when this was a germ of an idea, I was there discussing this company when they didn't even have initials attached to them, you know, in, in, the, in these rooms with Cody and the bucks and page and sky and CD. So again, it was, I was committed. I was like, I want to try to, you know, ride this thing out. It just became apparent to me that what I like and what I appreciate about pro wrestling and the way I like it presented was not happening at AEW. And that's not an indictment at them. It just what they perceive as good television wrestling and what I do are different things and just the business model, everything. And again, it was one of those things I want. I, I feel and still to this day feel that I have so much more to offer than what I was being utilized for at AEW. So I bet on myself and I made the decision to walk away. And I am very thankful I did. Uh, it's by far the best decision I could have made where I am right now. Um, so, yeah, if I had to give a straight answer to that, it would probably be uh, late 2021 when I resigned and I realized I probably should have just uh, rolled the dice then. <laughs> 